The Saudi diplomat who raped two Nepalese women has been allowed to leave the country. Now we are called the rape capital of the world. Shouldn't that translate to zero tolerance for rape, or are we merely happy banning documentaries that talk about it? Majid Hassan Ashour was accused of sodomizing these women, even offering them to his other expat friends. All this at knife point. They were kept in confinement and starved for three long months. I have a question for Sushma Swaraj. Were the grounds for detaining the Saudi diplomat not humanitarian enough for you? But the BJP is merely continuing the Congress's tradition of cheerful goodbyes. There was Octavia Quattrochi, who was lucky enough to know the Gandhis. Warren Anderson of Union Carbide, who even got a private chopper at his disposal. Then there are the two Italian Marines, who in all probability will also get away with murder. Majid Ashur has gotten away simply because India chooses to more consciously observe the Vienna Convention as opposed to their muscle flexing Saudi. Even Devyani Khubragari was detained by the Americans for underpaying her maid despite having consular immunity. All of India's goodwill for coming to Nepal's rescue after the earthquake is now gone. Why would we facilitate his escape? What are we so afraid of? That they would stop selling us oil? That without them we would lose the war on terror? Or do we simply want a worse human rights record than Saudi Arabia? We in India don't need a UNSCC. We need a spine.